My video for November the 27th, 2018, video number 2920, is entitled, Humanity's New Age About to Begin. Latest Intel report, November 25, 2018, quote, disruption is the cabal's game while confusion is the alliance's game. Every geopolitical event that occurs is a coordinated plan to meet the conditions needed to bring a major economic transition. One of these geopolitical events is Brexit. After an agreement was made over Gibraltar yesterday, EU leaders have agreed to approve Brexit. And I don't know why it says of Brexit, but it, that's what it does. And that's part of the quote, unless, I, unless it made a mistake. I don't know. Anyway, back to reading. The approval of Brexit marks the end of London's status of being the financial capital of the world, meaning the cabal's control over the financial world has finally come to an end. This now means the transition can begin at any moment. First, a private currency redemption event, RV, will take place. Second, after the RV is complete, the stock market will crash and the fiat financial system will be exposed as a slavery system of debt. A new and far, or new and fair, quantum financial system will be introduced, resulting, or resetting, I'm reading it badly, resetting all currencies and saving the global economy. Jasara will also be announced to prevent the world from plunging into chaos. Once the dust settles, humanity will be brought into a new age, end quote. <laughs> Brexit, of course, is uh, Britain voting, which, which was a, an election in which Britain voted out of the uh, European Union. And I guess from the report on Reuters and, and other places, I guess the, uh, the meeting at Gibraltar, uh, it was agreed upon by those that were voting, which I assume were the European Union nations, to approve of Britain's exit from the European Union. Is that a good thing? Uh, is Humanity's new age about to begin? I don't know the answer to those questions and many other questions still rest in my mind. I wish I could unrest them, but they rest in my mind. And I want nothing more than, to, than for there to be real change. I've talked about that again and again and again in my repeated videos, when I say repeated videos, I, I don't know that I've ever repeated the same video again, but I continue to make videos as I said in the beginning, uh, this is video number 2920, which means in February, I'm going to hit 3000 videos, uh, in which I don't know how many others have created that many videos. You'd uh, certainly not on a daily basis. I don't know that anybody else has made such a commitment as I have made to making a, a new video every single day. Uh, again, only missing when I was incapacitated during my second open heart surgery, which I've talked about in previous videos. I'd like to see the currency revaluation really happen because, of course, that will enable a lot of visionaries like myself to begin to actually bring about positive change in not just the third world, but I guess especially the third world that has been so impoverished and controlled by the elite establishment. Now, 
leaving Brexit and the vote by the EU does not mean that, to me that the financial system has changed at all. I mean, that's how some people may interpret it, but I haven't seen any positive changes yet. Uh, my Social Security, which I hope to get in two more days, and this is Monday, but Wednesday, Monday that I'm recording this, it's the video for Tuesday, but it's uh, being recorded on Monday. Wednesday, I should get my next Social Security, and uh, will I see an increase in that? Probably not. It'll be the same as it has always been, less than $1,000, uh, and yet I have people asking me for over a thousand dollars from third world countries in Africa since I uh, made the mistake of making a small donation to a, an orphanage which was later challenged somehow in the system and that whole thing was taken down. I've talked about that again in other videos and I have lots of people in Africa that uh, may be uh, scammers trying to get money from me. Uh, and I'm very, very leery at this point of even approving friend requests from anyone in, in Africa. Uh, it, it's sad that I have to feel that way, but I was so inundated by people thinking that, that somehow because I'm in America that I'm rich and I can send all sorts of money to orphanages, and I was a sucker for that on the one occasion only to, to learn, as I said, that it, uh, it was most likely or labeled as a, as a scam. And uh, I fell for it because of the pictures of all the little kids. And I wish I could, I wish I could, I wish I could help. I wish we could really see a new age for humanity. I wish we could see the criminals taken out or reformed or somehow stopped from the game plan of, of economic slavery that has been imposed upon humanity for a very long time. And I know you've heard me say that again and again, but it is a system of control. The money system of the world has long been used to enslave us, not to liberate us. The only ones that have any f true freedom, true freedom, have been the so-called elite establishment that can do whatever they want, even committing the most horrific crimes against children and, and all of humanity. They can get away with it because they're sitting at the top of the control grid. Who's going to take out that control grid? Uh, dis disruption or confusion are not the answer, neither one of them, neither the Alliance's game plan or the Cabal's game plan are the answer. The answer is the enlightenment of mankind and the true liberation of mankind from the demons that have infiltrated human, humanity and controlled humanity from who knows what the point in time was many, perhaps many thousands of years ago. But of course, then again, people say, well, time is just an illusion. Everything is happening right now. Well, that doesn't make sense to those of us that are living human lives on earth. And we, you know, people say that they've transcended it. Have they really? There still needs to be geopolitical changes on planet earth to bring in any kingdom of heaven or new age or whatever you want to call the redemption of humanity or the liberation is it, I guess the better word of humanity. I want to see that folks. How many times do I have to keep repeating it before we're actually going to see positive changes that affect our day to day lives. We had a meeting last night where after the meeting, a few of us in the parking lot were discussing this very thing. We, we need to get to a place where we don't just talk about what's going to happen, but we can actually experience it happening, real change. That's what we need. Thank you folks for listening and namaste.